Welcome to the Missouri Business Podcast. The show is chock full of insight on what it's like to start, stop, and drive a thriving business in our great state. Each episode, we'll dive into the mind of a Show Me State business owner so you can avoid their mistakes and glean their expertise for your gain. Now, here's your host, John Piazza Norton. Hey everybody, John Piazza Norton, the Main Street Business Mentor, back here with the Missouri Business Podcast, and today I'm with Sarah Mark. Hi. Thanks for having us by today. Absolutely, I'm happy to be here. I'm with Smart Architecture and Design, Yes. and we're here, what's the address? It's 619 Francis Street in St. Joseph. You've driven by it so many times. Absolutely, and I think I'm hiding here. I just recently got my graphics on the window, so now everybody can find me. Nice. You know where I am. I'm going to try to help her be found just a little bit more. Absolutely. I'm okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> and Sarah's been here about a year and a half? About a year. About a year. A little over a year. Okay. And we're going to get into kind of what drew her to architecture in the first place. Uh, we're going to give her three wishes and then we'll hopefully have you guys stop by and visit with her in the near future. Give me a little bit of background about why you decided to open the space. Were you working for somebody else, branch out, your I own kind of thing? I did. So uh, the long story, the long background story is that I'd wanted to be an architect since I was eight. Okay. This is always, other than, you know, the childhood dreams of ballerina and cowgirl, that sort of thing. Right. This is always what I wanted to Those do. Those fizzled out kind of Those early. fizzled out yeah. fast, yeah. Okay. Um, and, uh, yeah, when I didn't take dance classes, that ballerina yes, kind of knocked that right out. doing the things to make it happen. Real quick. Um, <laughs> but I got interested in architecture. My parents were redoing an old house here in town. And then I um, was in um, the gifted program where, and we studied some things about historic yes. buildings downtown. Sure. So between the two, I got introduced to it, and somewhere in there, I don't know exactly how it happened, but it all just kind of took off. I went to KU for my um, education. So it was about April, March, Aprilish when I went out on my own last year. Last and year, honestly, gosh. I've been very fortunate so far. I've had. Um, calls from some contractors. They've thrown me some work. Um, nice. Different people that have heard about me from other folks. So there's some word of mouth going on, and really, I haven't had to advertise. Okay. But that said, I would like to make sure I, uh, there's always that back of my mind where I'm thinking I really need to make sure I'm getting out and talking to people and While trying to get that good. marketing. While things are good. Right. Yes. When you're when you are in trouble. Yeah. And then you're trying to do the advertising. Yeah. It really comes across. Yeah. You're like, yeah, oh, what's I'm, going on? I am desperate. Yeah, yeah, no, and I don't want to be at that point. Right. Um, so I'd like to, I want to make sure that I'm keeping word out there, what I'm doing, what I can do for people. Gotcha. Um, it's really been fun, though. I love it. I love my office space. It's been fun getting it set up. It's nice. still a little bit of a work in progress, but the architect's office may be never done. I don't know. I don't think, I do. I don't think anybody's just, <laughs> but, but you're... Your, your topic right now is actually leading me into my first question. I thought perhaps. Be, because I, I like to give people three wishes sure. on the show. And the first wish is, what do you wish somebody knew coming in before they even talk to you? Before they talk to me. Yep. Um, and actually, I've talked to, to some um, clients about this, mm-hmm. that they don't have to wait until they have a project laid out before they call me. Um, I've talked with a couple people now where it's more of a planning issue. How helpful would that be? Yeah, oh so, my gosh. so um, for example, looking at their existing building, like I know that there's probably some way that we can rearrange this or do something mm-hmm. with the space to make it work better. I need better usage of this area, right. but I don't know what to do with it. I don't know if I need an addition. I don't know if I need to just renovate. I don't know what I need. I would say that's probably one of the biggest things, and I've been trying to talk to people about that so that they know that it's not just something that they have to have that project in hand before they can call me. If you had wish number two, <laughs> and somebody walked in the door right now, mm-hmm. what project would you want them to have? What is your favorite thing to work on? Oh gosh, that's kind of tough. My passion is probably the historic buildings. Gotcha. That's where I got interested in it from the beginning, um, back in school. I really contemplated going back to school for historic preservation masters, right? Um, like a master's of architecture in that. 
and I just decided that at the time I was kind of done with school. To be honest, <laughs> like, a lot of people are I like, need a break. I'm "School done. is over." Yeah, school is done. I think I need a break from this. And then life kind of happened, and I never got back around to that part again. Right. But I still love it. It's something that I just, I absolutely love it. Working on some of these old buildings, where if we can take uh, one of these warehouse buildings right. and turn it around into something that's feasible and usable. I just love the old buildings, no matter what they are. Very nice. It's exciting for me. Very cool. So yeah, I and I. I would love to get the chance to be able to work on more of those or get really, um, as downtown grows and we're having that reinvestment in downtown yes. to continue to work on the, the buildings and maybe become more of a, not a specialist exactly, but if people think of historic preservation, they want to give me a call because I've got the resources and able to handle everything they need for that project. You, you just never know how good a niche is going to be until you're yeah, in it. Yeah. I mean, St. Joe could potentially have a really good niche with that. It's yeah, I think so. People need to latch onto it. Sure, for sure. So the third wish. Yes. I'm going to let you pick. Oh, gosh. What If you had anything, any wish for your business right now, what would you like to have happen? Well, I am just a year in, and I've been really happy with how things have gone. Right. I mean, I would ideally love to see growth over the next several years where I'm able to bring somebody else in, bring in the right person, right. Um, be able to continually have that stream of projects to support them. Okay. Like I said, right now it's just me, which right. becomes a little stressful because I can only do so much at one time. Sure. Having an additional person would be great to help take off that load and we can then build and have that many more projects. Gotcha. But right now it's um, just making sure I've got enough to support me. Right. <laughs> Plus, then having enough to support somebody else—it's kind of a fine line. But oh, I would for sure. love, and to you know where the line is. Yeah. Financially, yeah. for you, you know where that is. Yeah. So if you have anything, like she said before, um, bring it in. Absolutely. No matter Talk what to it me is. about it. Yeah. I mean, I've got I've got the space here to add somebody else. I would love to start to see that, and yeah. maybe even get to the point where we just have more people and need to grow so much that we have to. Uh, eventually maybe move spaces. Yeah. I don't look for that anytime soon because right. I really like where I'm at. And you would know what the space would need to be. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's you. Um, so uh, definitely check them out. Uh, I really appreciate you letting us stop by. What's yeah. phone number? Let's give it to them. My phone number is 816-232-5990. And the website? Uh, website is in progress right at the Let's moment. So it's Facebook is under Smart Architecture and Design. So yes. it is on there. Um, and, and then my email. Yep. Um, so it's S M A R K T. So it's my first initial last name at smart, which is just S M A R T A R C H. So it's smart art uh, design dot com. Got it. Yeah. That was a lot. Not confusing at all. <laughs> no, so I was thinking about this later on. There's things that you should pick, and I should have done Sarah M instead of Smart Smart. And it, yeah, it, it's confusing. I, I, when you did the name, I was. Uh, it's I thought, a play on I the name. There'd be a K in there, but yeah. there is not. Well, I was afraid it would get misspelled all it, the time. It would have. It would have, and that would get real weird on websites and things. And it's so, marked. Yes. Marked. Yes. Got it. It's kind of how our people pronounce it. Here. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's I mean, German. Thank you for giving me, give me free reign. Yeah, I give you wishes, you give me some too. That's it's kinda... fine. I'll just kind of answer whatever is, hey, architect, and pay me, and I'll be good. Dude, that's right. <laughs> so Sarah Mark, smart. Smart architecture, architecture and design. design. Yep. Got it. Yeah. Uh, and I appreciate you letting us stop Absolutely. by today. Absolutely. I'm happy to. And again, of talk. course, I am John Piazza Norton with the Missouri Business Podcast, and we'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Thanks for joining us for this edition of the Missouri Business Podcast. Make sure to visit our website, MissouriBusinessPodcast.com, where you can subscribe to the show on iTunes, Spotify, or Stitcher so you get the ding when the next one is out. And if you have a question to pose on the show, just shoot us a comment on the website or like the John Piazza Norton Facebook fan page for direct access. Be sure to tune in next time when we squeeze the brain of another business leader for your benefit. Talk is cheap. I'm from Missouri. You have got to show me. See you next time.